All right, Bay Mang, it's Monday. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. I think it's June 14th. Uh, Big Cat, welcome back. How's it going? Big draft today. Huge draft today. Studio looks awesome. I cannot wait to see it. I wanted to go uh, this last week. Uh, stabilizing the two kid household has been a bear. So, but we'll uh, I'll, I'll be out there soon enough to check it out because it looks fucking sick. Are we calling this HQ three? I don't know. That, I we we, we were, don't know. I yeah. think we were calling it Chicago HQ two. But or what my you, apartment what do you in Lincoln call Park it? doesn't count. Yeah, that's true. It has to count. Yeah, his, his. the floor is still. If oh, we yeah, went to it right point. now, we could find it. The floor is probably still all fucked up from me sitting in my chair for twelve hours a day. <laughs> It's all scratched up. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean that's 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 the true like old school blogging life when you stand up after a few months and you're like, oh fuck, this floor looks totally different than the rest of the floor. Do you have any like visions of I don't know, I guess guys get older, they say, Hey, I want to go back and buy the car I had in high school. Like, do you want to move back like is no, that on your Not that apartment. Okay. Not that apartment. You love that place. <laughs> Maybe just reclaimed wood of that floor. Uh, yeah, we'll just it was make not a mosaic that nice on the apartment. wall. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, not I that do apartment. got beef with you about that apartment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is great actually. Yeah, cool. When you what? moved out to New York City for HQ two, oh the yeah, first HQ, you said I could <laughs> yeah. have that apartment. You never gave him an apartment. I, you Dan. never What's gave that him that apartment. I, I was gonna I pay for it and everything. <laughs> I can't remember what happened. That's my bad. I'll I'll just say that's my bad. That's my bad. Any part of it. Maybe you thought Dave was a liability if it was still no, under your name. No, I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I am I, the I still every now and then like I, I probably haven't done it in like a year, but there was I had a good three or four year stretch where like every six months I would do an Amazon delivery to that apartment. I'd have to text my old landlord and be like, "Hey, heads up, <laughs> like like fifteen uh, foam cowboy hats are probably going to show up and just throw them out, <laughs> like <laughs> random shit." <laughs> A lot of random shit was at that place. Yes. A lot yes. of random shit. The bench. The bench. From, uh, oh, yeah. That's right. From yeah. Dominic. From Dominic. That's, that's, bought. that's yeah. one of those, like, from, now that we got a place to put that, it's an absolute shame that it's gone. I know. I know. From Rogers Park. Fuck. <laughs> I really wish I had that. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll I'll find I'll find some, some replacement for it. <laughs> All right. A replacement bench. Uh, so, anyways, we're doing a draft. Obviously, it's Monday, and it's a monster week. It's a monster draft. We're doing an ice cream week, and it's the ice cream draft. And Big Cat, we waited for you because we we couldn't be it could not be done without you this one. I appreciate it. I'm nervous for this draft solely because there are no rules, <laughs> and I think I'm being set up. I called Eddie Red Ed in text message last night uh, because he, when he was it. like, "Yeah, there's no rules. It's freestyle." I was like, "What the fuck do you mean it's freestyle?" So who knows how this is going to go? I also want to remind everyone. Um, I am my my draft record as of right now is still undecided. So uh, there's an asterisk next to our ballpark draft because and we're going to do this later this summer. We're going to get a suite at Wrigley and I'm going to try to eat one item off of one, one of each item off the dessert cart at Wrigley. And if I do that, I retroactively win the first draft that I did. I would like to do a calorie count on that before you do it. Just so you know, like, hey, I, I ate just to win a draft. I ate six thousand calories in an hour. It's going to be disgusting, but <laughs> I still have that uh, in my back pocket. So just, I just want everyone to remember that. Mm -hmm. Anything to win, anything to win. Mm -hmm. um, that will be fun. I I'm excited for that. So yeah, so so it's freestyle, like you said. You could go anywhere with this, okay? I, I figured if if someone is really loyal to a certain brand and a flavor, take it. I mean, granted, if there's like five of one flavor on the board, I don't think that's great for you. Hold on. But yeah, this is going to be on. real interesting here because uh, I have a lot of questions before we get going. So I'm you sorry. could take, let's say, like Baskin Robbins flavor X, and then you could take Orbeweiss flavor X. Yeah, good luck, though. Baskin Robbins is going to get fucking bushled. Okay. Well, I, I was using I don't think that that's as an the example. point, pal. I think but I, but I think to... it is, though. So if you take a shitty brand. So I don't branch, think it's smart, is what I'm saying. You, but to each their own. This is, this is going to be. Ice. I, I just want to say, Chief and Carl, I said all this. I, I, I expressed this. I'm down for a freestyle, but I think there is uh, chaos is going to ensue. There's well, no way we can get this draft done without all of us hating each other at the end. We could we could make it simple and just do f just like flavors, which is kind of what I thought. And, and I'm not going to say, listen, I got a big board prepared. I'm ready to have a conversation about wherever this goes. But like a flavors, maybe that is a more simple conversation 
Where I get nervous is, do we start introducing store or fast food stuff? See, Can I see, do that? See, see I think. Yeah. I, I think, Freestyle. Okay. I, I think. It's frozen treats, right? Is that just what we're talking anything about? Anything frozen treat. Okay. This I, is, this is going to be a big time. <laughs> I'm off the graphic chief draft. Oh, no, yeah. No, but here's the thing. I tough. think if you want to do a generic. All right, let's no, just say it. No, we're freestyle. No, we're freestyle. No, freestyle. No, I know, but it's just freestyle. Okay, yeah, but if you want to do it generic, like, hey, I don't care. I just want a scoop of vanilla. You could do that. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, I just want a, I just want vanilla. Fully I want a vanilla cone. open dessert card. Correct. Card. Correct. Okay. But I can't pick a cake. And I can't come in here and go lemon mer I like a, what about a pie? What about a chili? No, 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 pie? no, no. It's got to be ice cream. Fuck what about no gelato. No frozen custard, Big Cat. Wait. Whoa. Okay. Hold on a second. I don't, I don't agree with that. That's, I don't agree with different that. I think gelato stands. Yesterday. I think right, sorbet, fine, if fine. you're... I love sorbet. I mean, sorbet. no one would ever pick sorbet. <laughs> I might. Sorbet well, why not? Stands. <laughs> What's wrong with sorbet? <laughs> Maybe I want to cleanse my palate. Maybe I want to do All that. Right. Give me a lemon sorbet. sorbet. Yeah. yeah, sorbet stands. Yeah. Okay. If Chief wants to pick mango sorbet <laughs> as his first pick, let him do it. Don't yes. put him in that spot because he will. <laughs> he will, yeah. My I thing was is, eyeballing a nice lemon sorbet for the fifth round. And there's so, there's so many bars you could pick. Yeah. And that's like where everything comes into play, too. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. That's why I Grocery thought Grocery stores yeah. in play, ice cream trucks in play, the Little League stands in play. Correct. Every Costco's in play. Yes. This is going to be it's a freestyle. Show. Yes, it's freestyle. <laughs> Your best five. Your best five guys against everyone else's. Um, White Sox said, ice cream on a hot day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, you know when you come in from mowing the lawn and there's ice cream? <laughs> that one. I don't appreciate the uh, digs at me right now. Sorry, Dave. Love you. You don't, you don't, you're not sorry. I know. Um, Let's do the order before we before we continue. Um, Big Cat social media. Danny has the number one through five behind his back. What is it? I don't trust this. You got to come in front of the camera. <laughs> you said you got to come in front of the camera. Stand back here. He doesn't trust it. Trying to see. Although what? Danny is my ice cream guy. <laughs> he oh, is. Yeah, you're his he ice, is cream. Conflict ice cream. Of, guy. Conflict of interest. It is. Yeah. All right. Uh, am I picking first? Yeah. yeah. Picking a number first, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so wait, how are we doing this? I pick a number, and if I'm right, I you, get to pick? What? Yeah, yeah. You get Correct. to pick where you want in the draft order. Correct. All right, three. Three. No. It's not three, Carl. Four. No. Chief. Two. No. Dave. <laughs> he wasn't listening. <laughs> one. No. Five. Five. I knew it was a coin flip. Fuck it. I'll take number one overall. Oh, Eddie's got a plan. Eddie's got a plan. All right. Of course um, he does. None of us know how to do this draft. <laughs> number this one is red Ed, This is Red Ed's masterpiece. <laughs> All right. One through four. Big cat. Uh, four. Four. No. Carl. One. Chief. Two. Yeah. I'll take the second spot. White Sox, Dave. One through three. Two. No. Big cat. Three. Three. <laughs> Fuck. One. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Three through five. Um, I'll take the third overall pick. One or two, Dave. One. No. No. All right, you want <laughs> four or five, Big Cat. Oh, uh, wait, I want five it's to snake, right? Yep. All yeah, right. I'll take five. So the order is Eddie, Chief, Carl, White Sox, Dave, Big Cat. Um, we'll get into it before we do, though. Congratulations to myself on winning the NBA starting five draft. How'd you not pick Michael Jordan? I know. We forgot, dude. <laughs> like, honestly, I was worried. Like, <laughs> I love that you guys did that to, like, just see who was paying attention and who wasn't. I know. And it was relentless. And not, yeah. Did you get a lot of tags or no? I got a few, yeah. Okay, got a yeah. few. What Fire the these fuck, guys dude? right now. They didn't draft Michael yeah. Jordan. Me? Um, all right. That's all you have to league. say about your victory. You don't want to take a lap as Red Ed, or you don't no, want to reestablish I, I, your power here. I, th I felt good in the moment too. I mean, Shaq, Steph Curry. I thought mm -hmm. I won it there, one two. Yep. And when I got Scotty, I felt even better. And uh, Pete Maravich. People love that as a '70s pick. So yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. I mean, Red Ed winning the basketball. I don't draft, celebrate the China connections. I thought yeah. you would have had LeBron. You like that? Like I almost feel like they would come to your aid, like with the bot vote, the Chinese national government. Or. Uh, Start the draft. 
Um, great speculation. <laughs> All right, hey, before we get rolling, though, I do want to talk about ChevyDriveChicago.com. Summer's here. Summer's here. You're going to be taking those road trips. Like we say, you're going to be going to Michigan. You're going to be going to Wisconsin. And that's why you need to go to your Chicagoland Chevy dealership to make sure you're taken care of. You need a little tune-up. You need an oil change. You need the tires checked. Go to Chevy. They'll take care of it. You don't want to go to some shop that's going to do a bad job. You know Chevy at all their dealerships are all certified and they're all going to do a great job. So go do that. Go on to ChevyDriveChicago.com and uh, you will be able to find dealerships in your area by entering your zip code. And also, they got something here for you too, which is very nice. The dealers want to help you get where you're going. So with a $300 gas card giveaway they're doing this month, you can do that. So simply head to ChevyDriveChicago.com to enter to win. While you're there, check out all the latest offers, service tips, and tricks, and find your local Chevy dealer. Head to ChevyDriveChicago.com today. Go do it. Chevy Drive Chicago. We're Chevy guys now. Make sure you're all good to go before you take these road trips. Get your car in order. All right, ChevyDriveChicago.com. Go do it. All right, let's hop into the show. Next um, week. All right, so I'm up. Number one overall pick, Ice Cream Week, huge draft. I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm going to take the fucking Chip Witch. I think the Chip Witch is an automatic first rounder, and I wanted it because uh, nobody has ever had a bad Chip Witch, and that's my uh, that's that's my current standing. Won me a draft. I love a Chip Witch. Chip Witches are great. <clears throat> I mean, they're good. Oh, Dave Can, doesn't like yeah. it. I, I'm coming with Dave. Like it's a good pick. I had it good. on my big board. One one. No way. Uh, yeah, I don't think one one. I don't think anything. What do you mean? I, it's the best of both worlds. A chocolate chip cookie is a great hey, dessert in its own right. I, I get, said my piece. I I have it on my draft board. I think it's overdrafted. And especially like a good lunchroom one too. Mm-hmm. That so if you're going yeah, you're going up to the ice cream truck at at the beach or whatever, you're taking chip witch. Uh, it's between. I rotate a couple. Like okay. if, if I oh, want. Oh, so it's not clear one one. Clear one ones. Like no, oh, no, no. It's one one. It's one one in the sense where it's hard to find something that's a replacement, and that's why I think it's one one. Does that make sense? No. What do Here, you mean? Here's no? here's my issue with the chip witch. Uh, there's times when you eat a chip witch, and it's just like it feels like too much cookie, and it yeah. kind of takes away from the ice cream. I'm an ice cream guy. I like ice cream. Also, there. Are kind of inconvenient to eat. They're so big. You gotta like have like, they're like alligator jaws, to dude. Get they're like it. this fucking thick. What do you mean? It's almost it's borderline a fork and knife type. You're situation. asking like it's it a is. fist, dude. It's not a fist. You, you could fit it in your mouth. I, I I think that pick sucks. Not even stinks. It sucks. I like I well, like. Good thing I, you're I, consistently wrong, Dave. No, I, I'm not consistently wrong. Uh, that's my point goes. about it is I don't think there's a good replacement for it. If you walk mm -hmm. up to the truck, if you go to a place, <clears throat> you could find a certain flavor that's very similar to anything else. I think Chip Witch is one of the only ice creams, ice cream bars, that stands on its own. So that's why I wanted it 1-1 one, one because I think I could fill everything else in as uh, the draft goes on. We'll see. We'll see. So Chip Witch is number one overall. You're up, and, I mean, I can't wait to see what you do. Dairy, wow. Dairy Queen Blizzards. You, wait, you got, you got to specify. Yeah, you can't say that. You yeah, you got to specify. Yeah. All right. Well, I was trying to just get them all, so <laughs> I will specify. I'll take the peanut butter cup, Dairy Queen Blizzard. That's, That's my personal favorite. Um, so but yeah, you, know, you turn Blizzard? that thing. Yeah, Reese's peanut butter cup, not the pieces, the cup. Mm -hmm. That was a big problem. Now, that was a big problem in my house growing up. That I would order the peanut butter cup. My dad would come back with the pieces, and I would just be like, "I can't eat this." Um, no, because they freeze. Yes, you they break freeze your teeth and it off. sucks. I now, Chief, I don't want to, you know, uh, get people going voting one way or another. But that is the pick that is worthy of a one-one. Absolutely. You. Thank you. Could not agree more. I don't think it's the best. Blizzard. I had that as my one-one. Specifically, the peanut butter cup blizzard. Uh, I'm not going to reveal anything okay. else. All right. <laughs> Sounds like that's a yes. I don't think it's the best blizzard. A big cat endorsed pick number one. Well, you didn't take blizzards at all. And there's, uh, I'd rather have a blizzard over a chip with a thousand times out of a thousand. I think. Correct. I think blizzards are a little overrated. So oh. I you're, you're lying. I, Put, I want a polygraph. I do. Wait, you mean that? Or was that smirk serious? No, I do. I want a I polygraph do. test right now. I actually On do. Ed. 
I swear. I think we should order them like every day and just not get one for Ed now. That Ed, type of slam. Eddie, this is like when a team you know, wins the championship and d- misses the playoffs the next year. You just won the NBA draft, and then you said blizzards are overrated on your next draft. I, no, no. I You're think resting on your laurels. I, I'm Listen, I, I get your point. And like, Here's the problem. When you say it's overrated, it doesn't mean I think they're bad. I think they're really good, but I think that they get a little more love than they deserve. That's my point. Well, it's better than the ship, which I know yeah, that. I, I know that, like, for a fact. And I think, and you know it, too. Deep down in places you won't say on this podcast, you know that's true, well, too. I, I, well, I could give away a draft strategy, but I'll save it. Okay. Um, Carl, you're up. What, what's your draft strategy? To lose the I don't draft? Wa- you're doing great. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't want anything from a store. I'm all fucking uh, – I'm all truck. I'm, I'm – Ice cream. I'm a kid, so. Oh, so, so you, then you are you are gonna lose. The so it's not a freestyle because, to you. What do you mean? People like uh, uh, people like childhood fucking ice cream trucks. You didn't have Dairy Queen as a child. And oh, let yeah. me ask you a question. When was the last time you've eaten ice cream? <laughs> I, to be, I'm not the biggest ice cream guy. To be fair. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not the question. It shows. Uh, clearly, ice cream? clearly not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Did I have it with you at some point? No. I'm, I mean, has it been somewhat recent? I mean, I have a Dairy Queen across the street from my house. So it's been recent. Uh, When's yeah, the last you know, time you've eaten a chip witch off an ice cream from the ice cream man? When's the last time you've Well, I don't hang out at any, like parks anymore. I mean, they go running. But if you hear the sound, yeah, if you hear, yeah. you hear yeah. those sweet stopping. sounds, you go run it. I yeah. mean, we're, now we're at the point where I'm getting upset because I feel like the chip witch has been extremely disrespected. At this no, point I don't think. Draft. I I said initially the chip witch helped win a draft. I like a chip witch. People yeah. like a chip witch. And if you're telling me that you go strictly from a truck, chip witch is obviously at the top of strictly from the yes. truck. What I'm just confused about is you're Johnny fucking freestyle today, and then you come in here, and now here we are halfway through I'm the first round, and you're just truck. an ice cream truck guy, and it's just like, what are we doing? I he's know. trying to get the nostalgia vote. And when Ed hears the ice cream truck yep. bell because running, that's what he's I think just of. trying to track down But I'll be honest, truck. that's what I think of when I think, but I, I get, though. You're not I, an ice cream eater. Wait, I, I, get I have two the, things to say here. I have two things to say. One is, if anyone asks me at any point in my entire life, when was the last time you had ice cream? It's never been it's yesterday. more than three days. Yeah. I can never say, like, oh, it's been a while. It's always mostly yesterday. I did have it yesterday. But it's that's crazy that you don't know the last no, time I you don't. had ice cream. No, I don't. And, like, I listen, I, I had cake, like, two days ago. We, we, from I always have ice cream in my system. Always. Mm. It's just cycling through <laughs> at all times. <laughs> it's like a fuel. So, that, yeah. But, like, my point is, is, is you're saying that you're going strictly off the truck. You haven't had anything strictly off the truck in probably fucking years and years, but you've had ice cream from other places before. That. Sure. Like, you're not, if you were sprinting to the truck, that's one thing. You could get the chip, which number one, one, and it's a nice quality for you pick. You're not doing that, though. So that's why that waters down the chip, which at one, one for you. All right, Carl, you're up. <laughs> He's pissed. He wants no part of this conversation. No, I'm not. I don't. I mean, it is what it is at this point. It is. Mm-hmm. All right. It's I fine. realize now that. I'm, I came in here wanting to do ice cream flavors. I had a little bit of a strategy. I'm going to stick to that strategy. I'm going to take an ice cream flavor that I don't think you can find this otherwise. I think the relatability of this one, it just kind of stands alone. There's other ones that are very popular. They're going to find their way in the top list. But this one stands alone to me. I'm going to take Rocky Road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was what I was, was going to go. That and, I was, and I was nervous Rocky Road wouldn't make it out of the first or wouldn't make it back to me on the snake in the second. I just like Rocky Road. The fact you have the marshal, the nut, the, cho- the marshmallow, the chocolate, like that's just a great – Summer cone, boardwalk, waffle cone, big old fucking scoop of Rocky Road. I like the uniqueness there. Can do a lot of things for me. I love Rocky Road. It just gets knocked down a peg because I don't like marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows either. It's okay. But yeah. that other other than that, it's, it's a eight. perfectly good ice cream. Perfect. Perfectly okay if people don't like mushrooms and nuts as well. But I feel like I'm in the camp with Ed here. Like we're gonna have to play out, and you're gonna have to see how we fill in the rest of the slots. But I know yep. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get the rocky rocky road value in the fourth or fifth round. Mm-hmm. It's it's really take it now or fucking leave it. It's got great brand recognition with sloth and chunk. If you guys, if you're a, I'm a big Goonies guy, so mm-hmm. didn't know that. <laughs> so um, <laughs> all right, rocky road just off the board. Um, White Sox, Dave. So. I'm I'm just kind of free balling it here, and I'm looking at these ranking lists and shit, and this is way the fuck down there. I'm taking it anyways. I don't care. I'm going peanut butter and chocolate Reese's out of the carton, out of the freezer aisle at the grocery store. That's I could eat that Wait. entire carton in one sitting. What? What? As a flavor? 
Peanut butter chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Reese's. Okay. You've. So, what do you mean? You're, you're so saying, here's where like he thinks this is a great pick. I don't. You you you're talking like this is some like I mean, super I feel, obscure I, pick. It's very very popular ice cream. It's right there in front of your face I, I every feel, time I you mean, go to the ice cream. Aisle. All right. I feel like I just picked that. You picked up Blizzard, right. which is the better version of what you said. Sounds like Chip Witch is really staying on its own right now. No, it's not. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> it. And first of all, it yours is with like vanilla ice cream. Mine's with chocolate ice cream. It's got Reese's in it. Okay. Damn, dude, he took your pick, Chief. I didn't take his pick. Took if you want to veto. Took it in, I'm not vetoing. So just, and I don't, I don't really <coughs> like vanilla ice cream, to be honest. So anything chocolate oh, autom automatically is above no. vanilla for me. Hey, so my pick's better than yours. Just because of that. A nice peanut butter chocolate for White Sox Dave. Reese's peanut butter uh, chocolate uh, out of the carton. I don't know how you want to word it. I feel like that's up your alley, Big Cat. Oh, I'm a big You're chocolate peanut butter guy. Actually, I'll, my first pick, because Chief took the blizzard, which I had 1-1. One, one, but I think not too far back from the blizzard, and you can go same, so you can go Reese's peanut butter cup, a McFlurry. And you get the added with a McFlurry. The straw is awesome. The thick-ass yeah, yeah, fucking straw yeah, yeah, yeah. that they use to, to shake it up. Mm -hmm. I love that straw. I don't know what it is about that straw, but you feel powerful when you eat a McFlurry with that straw. I, it's it good, is a good straw. It's it's the end of the straw. is like an inch thick. Like, that's what yes. it is. So like, you could, you could like, dig, a, like, an actual hole in the ground with that straw. <laughs> yes. You yeah. feel like a man mm -hmm. yeah. when you eat a McFlurry with that straw. Any so that problem, would be my first pick. What like are you taking? You have to take a flavor. Like I oh yeah, no no. I'm taking I'm taking peanut butter cup. Oh, okay. Reese's peanut butter cup, McFlurry. Any problem with the fact that uh, this is chaos? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> See, this is great. What I'm are saying. you doing? You're asking people to make a decision in the first round between a Blizzard and a McFlurry, the same flavor. You are you are honestly an agent of chaos. I want people. Yeah. I want people when they're thinking of this to think of the time in the drive through where they ordered it and they're like, our machine's down. Like that's what I when, I, when they, no. why, is, when they why is the machine down? Tell the truth. No, because it takes twenty minutes to clean it. Is that true? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. I would definitely say it's down then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, my second pick is going to be more traditional flavor: uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie dough. That's I love a great chocolate one. chip cookie dough. I had a first round grade on chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, I did too. I thought it was. I didn't think. I mean, basically. Eddie picking Chip Witch was like Saquon Barkley going four. Like, everything's thrown off from that point. <laughs> yeah, the big run on peanut butter. There. I kind of I, I got, got beef with him kind of combining the two flavors, even though I know it's a thing. It's a flavor. What that are you talking about? It is a flavor. About? Chocolate chip cookie dough? Yeah, or is cookie you, dough and chocolate chip? Like, I think they're two separate. I think well. the, no, the, no, the no, no, dough no. itself is chocolate chip. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's, yeah, okay. it's chocolate so just, chip cookie dough. I'm interpreting cream. it wrong then. Yes. Because okay. you're not an ice cream guy. I got a question for <laughs> guess, you guys I guess that not. just popped into my head. So for me personally, I like my – so when I, I'm making ice cream at home, I'm taking like half the cart and putting it in a bowl. I like it a little melted. Oh. Just a, a little melted. Bit. Yeah. Dave. So it's basically oh, like a, a soup melted. at the end. Oh, I don't want yes. it to be. I don't want it to be a soup at the end. Oh, they would said like. Basically. You like it soupy too, Big Cat? Oh yeah, I like to. I take out my ice cream. I let it sit for about, I don't know, anywhere between five and ten minutes. Sometimes I'll forget, and it will be like an hour, and I'll be like, <laughs> oh fuck. Um, but yeah, I like. You need to be able to when you scoop your pint of ice cream, it needs to have no resistance. Yes. You need to be Thank able you. to just go right through it, Aww. and then you eat it. It's the best. It's the best. So, do you eat straight from a carton bigger than a pint? So, if you have like uh, a quart, will you I eat live straight? Alone, from so, that? yes, I do. <laughs> no, I, I go. I, I put it in a bowl. I'll do put you it in have one of those special like crate and barrel ice cream scoops that like melts the ice cream as you go in for like a scoop, or do you just use your regular spoon? Just run it under hot water. Oh, no, I thought you throw it in the microwave. <laughs> no, do not, no, do, do not uh, throw it in the microwave. To, dude, that is a joke. Ed, right? If, I mean, yes, if I am sure. getting Ben and Jerry's from like the freezer at the gas station or something, I will throw it in the microwave for thirty seconds because it's literally rock hard. Mm -hmm. It is rock hard. Just how you like no, it. No, I'm I'm patient. <laughs> I leave it out for like ten minutes. That's the way to go. All right, chocolate chip cookie dough. Any any qualms with that pick? What are you talking about qualms? Well, you're I just had, mad because I got a better version of the chip witch. You did not. That's that, that's yes, incorrect. I, did. I have uh, I have cookie in my ice cream, all right, and I'm not fucking walking around with a fucking cookie right. in my hand, not eating ice cream. Hope you got napkins, Dick, because it's gonna be dripping, <laughs> and mine's not. Mine's gonna be. <laughs> what are you? We, what are you? What are you talking, talking about? about? I'm eating out of the bowl. 
Your you have yours is a messier. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, yes, it, it is. Chip witches are not big. <laughs> They're like three um, inches. No, you guys are actually. We should have Danny go to Target Dude, and get I'm, a chip Carl, witch right I feel now like I'm on another sell. planet. Yeah, because like, chip witches are not like. They're not that big. I would. I would. No. How, how thick is that? They made. A, they might have been that big before 2008, but since then, no. Why 2008? Hold on, hold Dave. on, Carl. If I said to you, I'm <laughs> have my chocolate big chip short? cookie uh, dough. You're right. You're right. You're right hold you're right. on. If I had my chocolate chip <laughs> cookie dough and I'm putting it in a in a bowl, and and Eddie's got his chip witch in his hand, who needs napkins? He's got. Me or him. He's, he's got doo doo fingers. No, he's got no, doo doo fingers. But yes, you he have, does. I, yes, he does. You do cones at home, big cat. Yeah, I do everything at home. You do cones at home? I fucking do it all. <laughs> Bro, just, I for, for, love For ice special cream. occasions or just like it's Wednesday, you need a cone? I always have a pack of cones at home. <laughs> you are a... <laughs> He's got the special occasion. Cones. Yeah, it's like Man. 7 o'clock. That's why he needs a cone. That's a special occasion. Dude, similar to what I said about the last time I had ice cream, if you ever walk into my house at any moment, there will be there will be ice cream cones in that house. Dude, I could And I don't do it all the time. I go bowl sometimes. Sometimes I go more traditional. But yeah, I fucking eat cones at home. Dude, I could see your ass sleepwalking like stepbrothers making cones at 4 a.m. <laughs> I like to do it in a coffee mug. So I feel like, oh, I'm not being as fat as putting it in a bowl. And then I just fill up that coffee mug again. It's like it's uh, that's like my little mental trick. I'm only having a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. normal. Eating I, ice cream out of coffee. I also mugs. want to say like underrated <laughs> You're not skills. an ice cream guy. You don't know what you're talking <laughs> but about. I'm you're not, not, but I'm the, not Eddie, the normal one. You're not an ice cream guy. I know. Now, underrated skills that everyone has. I actually, I would say put me up against anyone out there. And people probably make fun of me for this. I have the cleanest cones in the world in terms of eating it. No. Never a drip. Seriously. I have cone maintenance that you would you would dream of. No, I, I'm I, licking I, everything. Prove it. And it, no, no, no. I know this is true because he's fucking good at in weird shit like that, and he he cares about weird shit like this. But regardless, yeah, no, he needes napkins. Dude, if you, I, I I look at people who have a little drip on their cone, and it's disgusting to me. Lick that <laughs> shit. Fucking have some maintenance around the cone while you're working down. So you're just disgusted by people with a little uh, ice cream on the index finger. Oh, gross, <laughs> gross. And I know people are going to be like, Big Cat just essentially said that he could suck a great dick. I don't care. <laughs> okay. White Sox, Dave, back <clears throat> to you. Chocolate cake shake. Boom, final answer. Portillo's chocolate. That's a shake. Yep. That's a shake. It's is that a difference cream. or no? That's yeah, ice cream. I, I that's think, ice cream. That, I think that, that A shake that is plays. ice cream now? It's in play. Okay. It's ice cream. Yeah, sitting in like a that's freestyle, man. Where are you at? I, I, I don't think it would. It's literally a shake. It's ice cream in a cup with a little milk. I mean, that, a little like, milk. Like, I put milk in my ice cream. Okay. It's, 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 right. made, it's made with ice cream. All right. What's well, a blizzard? You, know you said what? anything's you, in play. Yeah, but I just figured a shake is not like a shake is a shake. It's ice cream. It is. I, I, I'm not going to veto that. You want to veto I'll take, it? You can take it. I don't care. I, it, you I know think, what this draft is? You know what this draft is, Ed? You know what you've done? What have we I just done? Stu- we're, we're in a gym right now, and all the hoops are down. You know when all the hoops are down, and there's like, you know, six hoops or eight hoops? <laughs> yeah. You just rolled out a bunch of balls. You're like, just shoot anywhere. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Open gym. <laughs> just shoot. <laughs> I honestly think outside the chocolate cake itself, it's the best – out him on the entire menu at, at Portillo's. Okay, it's a great so pick. It's, it's a tough great pick because there's a lot of good items on the menu at Portillo's. But that I think sometimes is, it gets a little too thick. Like you can't drink it out of the straw. No, almost. you have to use, use a spoon. spoon. Yeah, you so have to use a spoon because like, the cake. Yeah, you know, doesn't. Yeah. And at the and when you're done with it, at the bottom it kind of like settles the cake, and you got that nice like. Oh man, I can go for one right good. now. They're good. They're good, but I never order it because it's just it's like it's unhealthy. Uh, it's no, it's because it's a hassle. It's not a hassle. Trying to get it out of there, then you're like trying to drink it like out of the cup way. Like it's just well, not. Well, you got to get the spoon. I mean, I know, but then it's like not like I, in my brain. You drink, you eat a We're shake with a straw. We're talking strictly flavors. How good is it? It's it's delicious. Absolutely phenomenal. It's a great See, pick. And here's where I'm going to show that I know other desserts because. That's not even the best dessert there. If you ever had the eclair cake at Portillo's, that's the move. I think their chocolate you know, cake is their like chocolate cake. Or what are you talking unbelievable. about? Unbelievable. They got a different one that's called the eclair, and it's awesome. You're saying that there's a better cake than yep. the chocolate yep. cake at Portillo's? I do. I will. Do you I know mean, what their secret ingredient is in the cake? I think it's mayo, it's right? It's mayo. Mm-hmm. A lot of it. Right? Oh, and mayo. <laughs> what? Yeah, you yeah. like mayo, don't you? I do like mayo, so but I. I didn't know you could put it in a cake. Big cat. Oh, when did you first so fall in love with mayo? Oh, I love mayo, too. You can put mayo on anything. Yeah, it's a good one. Who I saw someone in here eating fries with mayo the other day. Was it Tom? 
Jesus. Yeah, God. that's a that's. I've a, seen people put mayo right. hot dogs in that. That's, that's a French that's, thing. I that's think. what they I do at French fucking Fenway Park. It's gross. They they put I, fucking mayonnaise on hot dogs at Fenway Park. It was abhorrent. I'm sorry. I, I think it's a French thing. Also, I just think that mayo, for some reason, like people have just decided that mayo, like it's one of those stupid internet things where they decided mayo is like gross. Fuck that. Mayo's how, good. How are you gonna have a sandwich without mayo? Yeah, no, it won't go down. It's stupid. Yeah, you got to chew more. It ha- you have to have every like it has to be the last part of the sandwich for me. Like, ma- like, like if the there's a ton of other shit that, that like kind of drowns out the mayo itself, then sure. Yeah, but the internet's decided that like avocados are awesome and mayo sucks. That's totally backwards. You know what that? You know what they call those, Dan? What? Lemmings. That's you're goddamn right, Ed. I'll if, tell you all about lemmings, Dan. Do you know Dave's rant on lemmings? No, let me hear it. It's, I mean, the internet's just a bunch of follow the leaders. So if one of the lemmings decides to jump off the side of the cliff, the others will follow and commit suicide just because one other guy did it. This is that's it. it's like Nickelback. Like if you say you like a Nickelback song, you get dragged across the internet streets. They, I don't think they're that great, but they have a couple of like catchy good songs I'll listen to. This, um, is, this is how Dave excuses his twenty-week losing streak in the draft. Well, I mean, it's been uh, said by multiple people <laughs> that I get. It's not just me saying that. I think there's been like two instances where I would agree. I All like right. this, Dave. They laughed at Steve Jobs too. You're goddamn right they did. Look where he is. He's dead. <laughs> no, Apparently. that's. I was defending you, Steve he might Jobs. Not be. Was Apparently, what does that mean, Dave? He might that's not what I'm be. Saying. He you might not be. He might be in Brazil. You ever see that picture? I, I heard Argentina with Hitler and really? and, and Tupac. Mm. Oh. Interesting. All right, chocolate cake shake uh, from an unnamed company is uh, Dave's pick. Yeah, I I like that, Ed. Uh, Carl, you're Ed's up. got a vendetta against that unnamed company that's already been named. Well, now that I know Ed's going after the truck, I yeah. have, I mean, I have no choice but to take a Choco Taco. Here. Oh, I love it. What I it, want the Choco Taco. It's Ed is to pissed me, right it's now. It's the best pack. I mean, it's not Chip Witch's. Chip, which is more versatile and plays across so many, di- but the Choco Taco at lunchtime when you were kids, or you see a Choco Taco, you get in the mood for a Choco Taco. First bite of a Choco Taco is very good. I just love the concept. Everything about a Choco that Taco. That is by far and away the best uh, ice cream man ice cream like purchase. It is by far and away. I don't think there's a close second. It's head and heels better than the chip. Now I'm getting nervous. Dave Dave likes Rocky Road. Dave likes Choco Taco. <laughs> you don't want to be aligned with Dave. Yeah, this is. You don't want to be aligned with Dave. Let's take these fuckers down, Dave. I, 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 had, I have the best two picks on the board right now. I had Choco Taco on my board, but it was a little bit lower. But I, I can't argue with it. I do love a Choco Taco. But, guys, it's so thick. You're going to break your jaw. <laughs> You okay You're over so there? mad that you went <laughs> chip which one won. Um, yeah, Choc- Choco Taco's a good pick. Uh, Chief, you're up. I mean, I'll take a drumstick. I like the drumstick. Fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. That was literally my next pick. I mean, Eddie, this is all your fault. You said freestyle, and then you're well, going to you go know where solely I on the is, truck. Is I meant freestyle like... I should have. I I didn't have uh, like places in mind when I said freestyle. It's backfired. It yes. backfired on mm-hmm. you. It did, but I still feel good. No, I'll, you don't. <laughs> no, I'll you're revert. Okay. I'll you're, revert. Your whole draft is falling apart. You're not even to round two yet. I'll revert. Fuck you for taking the drum drumsticks. Drumsticks are awesome. Drumsticks are awesome. They, I think they sell just the bottoms now, dude. <sighs> have you seen that? Yes, just, I what? have those, and I've eaten those, and I love those. Are they? They're good. Yeah, I also like the mini drumsticks when you can just eat, like, you crush, like, ten of them. Yeah, that's, you're really good at sucking dick with those, odd Dan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. No, those are, you don't, there's no ma- There's no cone maintenance on a drumstick. Those are bites. Yeah. It's like the owl and the Tootsie Roll pop. Yes. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good pick. Love my draft It's a right great now. pick. Uh, anything else, drumstick? No, I, let, I wanted to let you take it. You love him so much. Ah, fuck. That was literally my next pick. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go, and I'm, I'm staying in the truck. Fuck you. Uh, I'm taking the fucking screwball. Yeah. I, you, <laughs> see, you don't... See, <laughs> see I, I just said that to bother you. I just said that to bother you. Screwball is a fucking classic. You get the two ball in some of them. I was a singular screwball guy. Uh, I mean, this is like after a baseball game. What? You, you never played baseball, Dave? I, I played lots of baseball. This was it. Gotten, the screwball was a screwball was one of the most popular ice creams in the truck. Mm. 
You don't like a screwball? I like it. Where does the bubble gum come into play if you eat it too early? Bubble gum's it, the bubble gum's not good, but that's just like one of those things nobody talks about. Better bubble gum. It's, bubble it's gum so under bad that it's a good. blow pop or bubble gum on top of a screwball. Hmm. Hmm. Bubble, but, uh, I'll say I'll say blow pop. Blow pop too. Blow pop. I would agree. Blow yeah. pop gum. At, at least I like screwball. Good pick. Worth the question. Yeah, screwballs. I mean, that's just what I think of out of the truck. That's like the bit. I, I think that's the number one. Was that the first ice cream that's not like a ice cream? It was more popsicle-ish. There's some others. There's some really popular ones. Yeah, I know but you're that's saying. been yeah. taken yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right. I'm, obviously, I'm not going. I'm staying in the fucking truck with the guy. I'm going to take the. Uh, I'm just going to go the classic ice cream sandwich. Okay. I love an ice cream sandwich. I actually, if I'm being totally honest, hmm. I think I, I've, well, I shouldn't even say think, I've definitely had more of these ice cream sandwiches than the chip witches, and I think I enjoy them better too. They're good. They're good. And they're not like too big, so you don't get them, they're not super messy. You know what? I'd agree with Chief right there. Hmm. It's, it's, it's just the perfect amount on the ice cream sandwich. I think that's better than a chip witch too. For your baby jaw? I'm sorry, I can't fucking suck a golf ball through a garden hose. <laughs> it's okay, Dave. Uh, okay, ice cream sandwich. Yeah, classic. Chief. Um, I Look at it. I've been waiting to take this. I, in my brain, I probably could have taken it in the first round and been happy with myself. I'm taking Rocket Pops. I'm a huge Popsicle guy. I eat po like I probably eat Popsicles the way that Dan eats ice cream. I just have like a, at least a box in my freezer every night. Uh, I don't know if 3 chi is an ad, but when I have a little 3 chi gummy, I like to follow it up with maybe six to eight popsicles in a sitting, and that's how I do it. But And Rocket Pops, I feel like, are that the gold standard of popsicles. So another truck item, they're usually in the truck. Get them at the grocery store. Uh, but yeah, Rocket Pop, third round. Is it a Rocket Pop or a Bomb Pop? I always... I, I've used them interchangeably. Okay. But the, you know you know what I'm talking about, the red, the white, and the blue Correct. The popsicle. Fire, I got Firecrackers. Firecrackers, it's whatever popular. you want to call them. Yeah, Firecrackers is a popular one, too. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a great pick. That was an under consideration for me too, right there. I was worried you were going to take it. Yeah. Um, I love it. Anyone else? Dave, you don't like it? Just a little too sugary for me, for my, for my taste. Sweet, if you will. Okay. Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> hey, let's take another quick break here because with ice cream week comes ice cream t-shirts. I'm dropping five of them today. Go check out the Barstool Sports Store to check them out. I don't care what people say. We got the Chip Witch shirt. Chip Witch is a good ice cream sandwich. We got the fucking Screwball shirt. Screwball classic. If you go see an ice cream truck, everybody was getting screwballs back in the day. Don't care what these guys say. And then, obviously, we have the Bomb Pop that Chief just picked. We also have the whole logo with the SpongeBob, WWE wrestling, everything like that that they handed out back in the day. So, five shirts. Go check them out. Shirt of the summer. They all look good. Okay, let's go hop back into the show. Go buy your shirts at the Barstool Sports Store. Okay. Uh, Do we start? Carl. All right. Um, I got... It. This is really turning a lot, out a lot differently than I thought it would be. I'm going to take... Oh, God, this could be so bad. Just do it. Trust yourself. <laughs> Go for it. Punching bag. What's machine. your favorite? <laughs> yeah, no, go for it. No, no, no. <clears throat> no, see? There we go. You're no, not drafting your favorite. I hate, because they're going to be on the board. I'll guarantee you that the... Just take the punching bag machine. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to take... Take your favorite. I know you guys are fucking with me too bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the... Mm, take it. So I'm... I'm Dave is about to run up to the podium with his card. Like you're out, you're on the clock. I'm here. taking Neapolitan ice cream. Okay. I'm taking, I don't. I I like that pick. I'm taking. I, I think. Yeah, I like that pick. I like the spread. I like the balance. This is why I was in between keeping it simpler, getting a little complex, and so I I like the flavor. I like the the whole fucking thing. You get a chance at a nice a nice Italian restaurant. You see that at the end. Mm hmm. I like the I like the smorgasbord of flavors. You hate the pick. Me? Yeah. I'm not. I'm. <sighs> I love chocolate and vanilla, but Neapolitan's Oh, good. what? Strawberry's delicious. I, I strawberry's great. Awesome. Awesome. I, I strawberry know with I'm a little, in, the little of the chocolate. Oh, I know best. I'm in the minority, but I've just never been a big strawberry guy for ice cream. But I don't hate the pick. I feel like that's an appropriate third round pick. 
the the worst yeah, part about it is if you live with like a, as a kid, like a, you know, if you have siblings, they would just dig out one of the yeah, yeah. Sides. Yes. Yeah, 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 that was the, just, what the fuck? Where's all the chocolates? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's out of the middle of the carton. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, I love it. Uh, it's the best. It, you get everything. It's the best of three worlds, not he both just, worlds. He just three like the worlds. appetizer platter. That's, that's I mean, that's actually where it was categorized. <laughs> yeah. And my brain was like, yeah. I can do a little Because can I be here. honest with you? I was close to taking the ice cream Neapolitan sandwich. Mm -hmm. Oh. I know. I was close to doing but that. But do they carry That's a little too fancy for a truck, They do right? it. I, I studied the truck well, before I walked in. In your neighborhoods, they certainly I do. Stu sure. I studied the trucks. That's a good pick, Neapolitan. Yeah. Uh, you don't like it, huh? No, I like it. I'm just trying to look and see, like, the. I want to have a... like. I want to have a more. I want to have a balance board. That's all I want at the end of this. All right, White Sox, Dave. Ben and Jerry's half baked, and listen to this description. If this doesn't just get you rock hard, chocolate and vanilla ice creams mixed with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, and fudge brownies. Yes, fucking please. I actually mm. ate a pint of this after getting really fucked up off three chi the other night. <laughs> I think you know what that brownies is, is bad. That's a, nice that's a lemon pick because that's like universally like everyone's like, oh, that's the best Ben and Jerry's. Oh, so I mean, there was three other rounds that could have gone. Mm, OK. Mm. OK. I'm actually shocked that I'm at my point of the draft and this has not been picked. And I wonder if Eddie's probably going to get mad and throw a veto. But how has no yeah. one done just a classic chocolate and vanilla soft serve? Ice cream cone. I was hoping that I'd get back to a me. Chocolate, like a twist? A, a, a swirl. A twist, soft serve, mm -hmm. out of the truck, the best. You can never go wrong with that. That's my dad's number one. See, if I had the first <laughs> well, overall pick, I was just going to pick chocolate ice cream until I saw where everybody else was going. So I love it. <laughs> That's my dad's, That's my dad's number one. You fucking love the twist I, cone. I get it all the time. Yeah. Get a, you know, can you, wait, now, now can I get, can I get more specific with it? Can Do whatever you want. It? Can I? A, a waffle cone is the best. Chocolate vanilla swirl and a waffle cone. So when you were yeah. talking about the cones earlier, you having like the uh, the round like confectioner sugar kind. Is that what I'm thinking of? Like the it's almost, I go back and forth. I have the okay. sugar cones at home as well. Mm -hmm. I sometimes get the waffle cones. Those don't really play as well though when they're not like freshly made. I would agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, this um, is a really good right. pick. My next one, I'll you. go with uh, also Ben and Jerry's. I'll go with fish food. It's awesome. Fish I love how the there's best. all these like marijuana innuendos with Ben and what, Jerry's. What's in that? What's in fish food? Fish food's got the the little dark chocolate uh, fishes. It's got caramel. It's got marshmallow, chocolate ice cream swirled. It's great. It's delicious. You just say you don't like marshmallows. I I if like for instance, I don't like Lucky Charms because it's it's just two. It's marshmallows and then the cereal. When it's mixed with a ton of different shit, sort of like mayonnaise. If it's on a sub with. Like a bunch of different meats, lettuce, tomato, onions, blah, blah, I'll eat it. But Same you talk Carl for Rocky Road's marshmallows. Oh, I said I love Rocky Road, but I just don't typically like that's marshmallows. Your, that's your I can, least part. I can, I can the, deal with marshmallows in that case. Here's the definition of fish food exactly. It's uh, swirled, chewy marshmallow, gooey caramel, and chocolate ice cream made with pure dairy cream. And then it's got uh, the fish-shaped chocolatey chunks. That sounds pretty good. It's fucking good. It's very good. Yeah. All right. Ben and Jerry's fish food off the board. White Sox, Dave, you're up again. Peanut butter parfait from DQ. Final answer. And my favorite part about the peanut butter parfait is when they load it up with the peanuts, and the peanuts are like just, they're the saltiest peanuts on earth. So you get that nice salty and sweet mix. Oh, so good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, this lost you the, this lost you the, the fast food draft, though, remember? Royal treats. Because nobody knew what it was. It's... I go so I I tell them I go chocolate, uh, peanut butter parfait because it's typically made of vanilla ice cream, and then it's layered with different fudge. Like there's three layers of fudge, and then there's peanuts, and then a little whipped cream on top, which I don't typically care for. But when I'm feeling frisky, I'll get it. Okay. Any comments on the peanut butter parfait? Has anyone had one besides Dave? <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> I haven't either. Neither it's I've had it. It's good. It's a good pick. I've had it. Where, right. where do pear? Or parfaits fall in like your guys' hierarchy of frozen treats. Mm. And what mm. makes a Not parfait top, a parfait? Yeah. I, I don't need, I don't know. That's yeah, a good I don't even question. understand. Well, yeah, what's do you the, need like a cup fresh in? ingredient? Like there's peanuts in there. Do you need like a fresh cherry, a fresh something that makes it a parfait? Let's I don't find know. A definition of parfait. Mm. 
A dessert consisting of layers of ice cream, fruit, etc., served in a tall glass. So what's, I think it just has to be a tall glass with layers. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> like what it's served in. So yeah. what's the layers? Yeah. Then? It goes it goes ice cream, fudge, ice cream, fudge, ice cream, peanuts on top, fudge on top, and then vin- uh, whipped cream. Gotcha. Okay. Peanut butter parfait. Off the board, Carl, you're up. I was hoping this would be here. I was a little nervous Big Cat would get it there in the fourth round. Uh, I'm going to take a Baskin Robbins ice cream cake. Ooh. Oh. I had ice cream cake I on love my ice board. Cream cake. You is were that, right. Me is too. That, is, that, is that draftable, though? I don't think that's ice cream. What are you talking about? It's oh, the number God. one ingredient is ice but cream. But it's got a cake in there. Well, it's shaped Your like chip, cake. which has a cookie. What are you talking What's yeah, the difference? That's yeah, a that's sandwich. Fair. All right, you won me over. <laughs> You won me over. Uh, these are popular you know what? This is- at birthday parties, corporate America. If you find yourself buying this for yourself, though, um, that's obviously like a difficult situation. If you're popping in and you're getting a kid, like, <laughs> it'd be nice to have one of these in the, in the freezer over the weekend. But when they show up at birthday parties, it's great. Damn. Uh, I don't want to, Eddie, I'm, I'm not trying to bash you because I think this draft is going well. I think people will like this draft. But Sounds like you're about you, to bash me. You <laughs> running this draft is like if Troops was like, hey, let's do a draft of like favorite <laughs> football, like like American football players, NFL players. Like you don't know ice cream. I know fucking ice cream trucks. That's what I say. I, I know trucks. You've never taken a stroll down the freezer aisle in a grocery no, store? No, I don't. I like I, I'm, I'm a tr- like w- someday we will have an ice cream. We will have a dessert draft. Excuse me. And ice cream will be very low on my board. And that, I mean, I, I'm tipping. You my will hand lose there. that draft as well. No. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream is the best dessert. No, no, no. Ice cream okay, is the okay. best food I, in, in the I think, world. I, I think cheesecake superior. I think. Oh. Uh, I oh, think, uh, don't tip your hand. Oh. I'm, I'm being honest. I want to puke. I, I want to puke I, on you right now. I, if I could puke on you, I would do it. I think a good cookie Cheese is superior. Cheesecake over ice cream? Yes. You are insane. I think that a good is pie is fucking superior. Insa- I never, I, I will never I think, look at you the same. Great. I don't think cake's great either. I love pie, but what makes the pie so great is the scoop of ice cream with it. Like if you have a hot apple pie with like on its own, it's very good. You add that scoop of ice cream, now you have like an A plus. I like a good banana pie, all right? Banana pie. Yeah, you don't like that. Okay. Um. All right. To me. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm. I'm a truck guy. I don't know how many times. I've right. Always been. I'm going. If I'm going to like a like an ice cream shop, or even if I'm just going down the aisle and I'm getting an actual pint, one of my like most frequent ones is just like Oreo cookies and cream ice cream. So I like when you have like a double stuffed Oreo in like you scoop it out and you see like that big chunk in there, there's that's like finding gold. And so I, I don't know, I've always, ever since I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, that was my favorite flavor. So I'm going with cookies and cream. Um, do I have to give a brand? I don't feel like I don't, right? No. Okay, so just cookies and cream ice cream or Oreo ice cream, whatever you want to call it. Sensational value in the fourth round. I would agree. Sensational mm-hmm. value for cookies and cream to go on the fourth round. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. Like, I feel like I have all of my favorite things, so I feel great. I don't know if I'm going to win, but like, this is my this is you're my happy kind of draft. With, you're I'm happy with what happy. you have. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm up again. I'm going to stay truck because I'm. I'm I, I. I don't think I could go anywhere else. Uh. No. You know what? I'm actually going to take. One of my, I guess, one of my favorite ice creams from a. I'm just gonna take uh, mint chocolate chip. Mm. Welcome to the draft. Good okay, good so pick. Eddie, we are. I that's your first good pick. That's your first good pick. <laughs> no, okay. that's wrong. Yes, it is. Yeah. No, it's no, no. That's your first good pick. You don't that's like a ice good cream? Pick. Right, Big Cat hates ice cream sandwiches. He he's gonna lose followers now. No, what? You, you didn't did. take ice cream? Oh, you took ice cream sandwiches? Yeah. 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 All right, so that's your second good pick. All right, never mind. I forgot you took ice cream sandwiches. For some reason, I thought Chief did. Uh, the that's your first good. That's your second good pick. You are going to get roasted for it, but I will defend you. So now we're coming back together here. We were full, we were miles <laughs> apart when you said cheesecake's better than ice cream. Now our friendship is coming back together because mint chocolate chip is one of those things similar to mayo where people just bash it online for no fucking reason. It's a delicious ice cream. I love it. Good pick, Eddie. Thank you. I hate it. I mean, I hate the ice cream. I know Let everybody me. else loves it. I don't like it because I don't like anything minty unless I'm like swishing my mouth with mouthwash. Lemon. I don't like minty. You're a lemon. Lemon. I'm not a lemon, lemon take. <laughs> that I just, yes. It's the opposite of a lemon take. 
You're Ed took no. it because he knows it's going to play in the graphic. No, no, I didn't. I, I, don't, well, uh, uh, I don't think it will play in the graphic. I happen to think. I it's think it's pick. actually. I think that pick from Eddie. I love that pick personally. I think that pick will make sure make it so that he will not be in the final four. Correct. Because mint chocolate chip is hated online, and it's stupid. Really? Because it's a great mm -hmm. ice cream. I yes, feel like it is. Everybody loves Tweet it. it right now. Well, no, you can't, can't tweet it right now, but yeah. I guarantee you it's hated online. I guarantee you it's hated online. I like the pick, Ed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm just going to fucking... I'm, <laughs> last pick. My Mr. Ralph, I'm taking the fucking Flintstones push pop. And I don't care who says anything. <laughs> Gross. Mm. <laughs> he he's just tanking at this point. <laughs> the Flintstone no, push pop is legendary. It's it's a legendary kid. I drafted I drafted from ten year old me. Okay. Mm. If if people don't like that, then they don't like that. That's fine. I could live with that. I could die with that. Sorry, because yeah. I will die uh, from what it sounds like. I have a question, <clears throat> Chief. Do you agree with me that mint chocolate chips unfairly bashed online? Oh yeah, definitely. Like I I think I like the pick. I was on my board. I Same. might have taken it in the next round. But now, like I, but I know, like that. I was gonna preface it with, with this is where I do like the chief thing, where I take something at the end, and then people just shit on me. That was gonna be mint chocolate chip. Yep, agreed. So I like to pick Eddie. The, the Flintstone pop is just disgusting. No, That's it's not. not. Ice cream. No, what, it's, you what do you mean? It's a great truck ice cream. I don't know if it exists anymore though. I think isn't that the same as what they do with like the SpongeBob ones now? They have the SpongeBob push pops instead of Flintstones. No, no, <laughs> nope. Okay. Um, the problem. The problem. Can I say something real quick, Ed? Yeah. And I don't. Uh, I defended you on mint chocolate chip, so I think I have some leeway to bash you again. Uh, <laughs> the problem with your truck strategy is you didn't get the first. You didn't get the top two things off a truck, which are drumstick and my soft serve. Those are the number two, one and number two things off a truck. Uh, I think Chaco Taco's got to be number one there. I, Maybe I, that's I, three. I, yeah. I guess I'm living in an alternate universe where mm -hmm. where Chip Witch is not top three out of a truck. I, I I still will contend that it is top three out of a truck, but I guess I, I guess it's four versus one here. So mm -hmm. it's no, about to be like no 50, point of argument versus one. No, I think people <laughs> who are loyal to trucks will see my point. Not saying I'm gonna win, but, but like you, here's the thing. You think there's here's a the big thing, group. though. Okay, people are so, loyal to trucks. They're loyal to. But ice here's cream. the thing. Okay, okay, but here's the thing. White Sox, Dave's like a lot of things are gonna be pretty. Like a lot of people haven't had. How, how Everyone has had my figure? shit. What do you mean? No a chocolate cake shake? That's pretty fucking regional. Regional. Man. Pretty regional. Okay. Peanut Buster Parfait Dairy Queen. No one had it the last draft. That's true. You got. You guys. That's what I'm saying. That's everybody knows what that is outside of this room. You guys are racing to the bottom. <clears throat> You're up. No You're fucking up. way. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No way! Mm -hmm. You drafted firecrackers. Hey, it's I, I appreciate fucking Ed's commitment to strategy and trying to put together a good roster. That's here. fine. Now, I mean, whether I mean, you do or don't, how it's perceived, I appreciate the so fact I, that you all come in here and do a little strategy. No panders here. I'll say, mm -hmm. I'll say something nice about your draft, Ed. Uh, <laughs> the chip, which when you put it up against everything else, looks pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not very good. Yeah. He's like he's like the that quarterback that lights it up in the combine who just fucking sucks once he gets. I can't believe actually how many on the people. Field. I can't. If believe it was how an ice cream sandwich draft, you would have won because you got both of them. Unbelievable how many people hate the chip witch. Mm -hmm. uh, Chief, I don't up. hate the chip witch. It's not one one. There's a big difference. I'll I'll take that. Okay, that's fair. Chief, you're up. I'm taking coffee ice cream. So I love coffee ice cream. I uh, this is that been like, stinks. No, it doesn't. Okay. Specifically, I mean, I know we're not doing specific brands, but Jenny's does like an unbelievable coffee ice cream. I think they do it better than anybody. That's become like my. We're doing specific, kind of. Maybe. Well, yeah, I think you Baskin are. Baskin Robbins, you, Ben and Jerry's. You went Ben Dan and Jerry's, and I. but like I, mine. I, well, I took cookies and cream last time, so I think Jenny's coffee is the best. But I love basically all coffee ice cream, and I think that's like my adult flavor. So like, I didn't have it when I was a kid. I started probably eating that maybe like 10 years ago i fucking love coffee ice cream and that's another thing where i'm like sitting at home alone at night where it's like let's pull up let's pull up one of these delivery apps pull up jenny's and they send you a pint and the pints which should normally i think a pint would cost you like four bucks the chair it's like a 20 dollar for a pint once you yeah, factor in everything, once you factor everything in but it's worth it so jenny's uh or just actually just coffee ice cream I'm going to be very interested to see what the reaction to this is. Now, I, I'm like, the more we do get deeper in this draft, I'm realizing that I'm, 
I'm probably anomaly in that, like, I love literally every type of ice cream, but I love coffee ice cream. I don't think people love it. Really? But it'll be interesting. I feel like it's like mint chocolate chip. Again, I, I love it. Mm-hmm. I love coffee ice cream. But it's weird. I think that, like, the uh, general public's idea of ice cream is a lot more bland than, like, a coffee or a mint chocolate chip. I could see that. But then, like, we have, like, the Dave board here where he's, like, all over the place with his Ben and Jerry's picks, too. So How am I all over the place? Yeah. I took the, like, most popular one. At, at the end of the day, at, the best. like, at the end of the day, I look at the whole draft and I'm like, I want all of it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm criticizing only in, like, a vacuum here yeah for like conversation if you gave me sake. eddie's draft i'd eat every single thing on his draft yeah see you're Honestly, fucking thinking the, about that yabba dabba do orange <laughs> to <laughs> no, dan's actually, point i wouldn't get the flintstones you're right i would not eat that i'd throw that in the trash that was like that eat. was like I, I i went super nostalgia i had to and they're really good and your draft was set at that point your fate was sealed uh yeah correct um all right so coffee ice cream off the board carl fifth round value i'm taking a frosty from Wendy's, I want a fast food item on my menu. I don't want to compete with the Blizzard or the McFlurry people. That that's a split. I like a good frosty. I like the fact you can eat it with a spoon, then it warms up, then you put the straw in there. I'm taking a frosty. It's very affordable too. It's a household name. I like frosty in the fifth round. It's a good pick. I have a confession. Hmm. I've never had one. Oh, dude, they're, they're like a buck, but they're they're small and it's just enough where. It I'd hit that sweet tooth spot. I'm sure they're awesome, and it's like a thing where it's like I don't know what it is, but I've just never had. Frosties. I enjoy frosties. Yeah, frosties are great. I like frosties. They're on the dollar menu, right? I think. Uh, I don't know. I think so. Frosties are but good. They're, though. they're delicious. They're the perfect. junior one, right? Then they you can maybe get a that's bigger what one. It is. Yeah. yeah, that's a good pick. White tax, Dave, you're up. So Ed was rewinding it back to his childhood. I'm gonna fast forward to the future. <laughs> Oh, I know where you're going. And I'm here. taking the ice cream of the yeah. future. Yeah. I'm taking Dippin' Dots. They're, hit the spot at ice cream or at ice cream at a baseball game. You go to the Dippin' Dots stand. It's 85 degrees with 100% humidity. You're sweating balls. Just hit up the Dippin' Dots stand. You got the little helmet cup, which adds to the to the pizzazz of it. They, like, kind of freeze your mouth a little bit. Can and I, you got to uh, lick them around. <laughs> Can I make a challenge? I want to go head-to-head with Dave. I think mine's better than a separate than pole? Yes. I think I could win. I, I like that. I like oh, that. That's going to fucking win happen. Too. It's going to be 100 to 1 because of all the lemmings no, out there. No, 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 no. Maybe we release it like the next day or something like maybe that. Maybe we yeah. release Sunday or something. I don't know. Maybe like maybe there's a way. To, I want I want Dave. It's gotta, I want Dave. I will, I will agree well, to this why, why, solely if it's anonymous and it comes out before the show. All right. So we've here's talked, what you do. Release it Sunday yeah, night. Here's what you do. This is easy. This is easy. Instead of the Instead of the traditional way where we leave one off. I think I think we should just all agree that me, Chief, and Carl have top three potential. And you guys you two are fucking go against high. each other. Winner comes into <laughs> the right. top four. Well, I think we've we I've been pushing this too, where we should just have we should vote on whoever we think are the bottom two and make them have a runoff to get into the fourth spot. So I, I think we'll do that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll do we'll do a runoff. New I have stand. to agree to there's gun there's terms and conditions that must be <laughs> like I'm not yeah. giving in on these. All right. Sunday all right. night. Dippin' dots is just like. There's certain things in life that don't need to be reinvented. Like a pizza does not need to be reinvented. A wheel does not need to be reinvented. Ice cream does not need to be reinvented. Have you ever had? Di- it's not reinvented. It's just it's just packaged yeah. differently. It's still yeah. ice cream. They're trying to reinvent ice cream. That's exactly what they're doing. They said ice cream in the future. You don't need to fuck with ice cream. Ice cream is ice cream. It's still ice cream. You're acting like they changed like the chemical formula of it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Terms and conditions. Anonymous poll released Sunday night over the I don't I don't care how long it goes for, but I'll I'll throw this out there as a recommendation over the course of Sunday night baseball, just like three hours, four hours, whatever it is. So like six PM to ten PM. Okay. I think that's I think that's fair. Okay. And then do we wanna make sure that Ken Jack puts out an appropriate graphic too? Yes. No funny business. No funny business. Sure. Yeah. We'll we'll have to get it approved. I, I, I like this. Well, let's let's finish, and then we'll, mm-hmm. we'll talk a little bit more. About it. So, Dippin' Dots, you don't like it, Big Cat. I just think it's I think it's a try-hard ice cream. Perhaps it is. It's fucking delicious, though. Dude, I was at the mall last You're summer. You're telling me you don't like Wait, that didn't baseball? didn't NASA make Dippin' Dots, Big Cat? Are you saying you don't like, you don't like NASA, you don't like astronauts? <clears throat> I think I'm, that's I mean, just I'm, how they market really, it. I don't really care for astronauts, yeah. Well, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. They didn't never done shit for me. Sure Did? they have. They, almost, they won you the Cold War. 
against Ed's kin. <laughs> Before I was born. <laughs> I don't care. Not really. I was at the mall last year, and I walked past Dippin' Dots, and they had a Dippin' Dots infused with Red Bull and Monster. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's, oh. that's See, that's the type of shit Dippin' Dots does. <laughs> at a they mall? try to do that stuff. You would yeah. never infuse like a chocolate vanilla swirl with Red Bull and Monster. You don't fuck with that. You didn't you just have didn't we just have a, a summer cocktail competition for New Amsterdam where you made a root beer float? Yeah. What what does that have to do That's, with Dippin' Dots? What does that have, that doesn't have <laughs> anything to do with Dippin' Dots? You you just tried to reinvent ice cream on your own. No, I didn't. You just dump ice cream into a fucking and they just beer. dump Dippin' Dots but into that a fucking exists. energy drink. A root beer floats existed it forever. It didn't exist eating, until it existed. They were drinking that someone, shit in the fifties. Someone, someone else was <laughs> fucking with ice cream. Dave thinks of things that have never been, and asks why not. You're just, you're just a forward thinker. That, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry Cat, that you guys aren't on my level intellectually. Is Big Cat being a lemming that he doesn't like dip, dipping dots? I no, and you know what? That's a lie because I guarantee you, if I put a little, a little mini helmet of dipping dots in front of Dan's face, he's fucking eating them. <laughs> Of course I'm fucking eating it. <laughs> yeah. So what are you bitching about? <laughs> okay. Because uh, they're, they're little like drops instead of like a, a solid ice cream. I Okay. I'll tell you exactly why, Dave. I'm happy we've had this discussion. I don't like the dipping dots tried to claim they were the ice cream of the future. I don't like that tagline. I think that's fucked up. You shouldn't have to try to invent, reinvent ice cream. That's a, that's a braggadocious... Cocky, hold on, hold on, hold on. Asshole thing to say. It's like what's the, what's the water of the future? Like, right? It's just something. Right. That, this is just what it's gonna be forever. They if have they had, Dippin' Dots broke in 2018. They broke 330 million dollars in annual revenue. You gonna hate people making money? You no, hate no, competition no, 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 too? No. Do we You're gotta put you over? You're now this argument. You, no, no, we, no, no. We're gonna put you no, over with Red Ed. That's not that's what I'm great, saying at all. That's great I'm marketing. Saying when you make, it's like when fucking Elon Musk or one of these idiots tries to reinvent the city bus. You don't need to reinvent this stuff. So if they had just said, here are dots is an ice cream, I would have been like, fine, cool. do Have at it. Some some kid wants some dots as an ice cream. Do you but think saying, they would make the as ice cream much of money the future, as they do now? That's a slap in my face when they say uh, it's ice cream of the future. The there is no ice cream of yeah. the future. There's ice cream of today that I'm going to eat every day. It's a tagline he's got a problem with. Yes. And that tagline is why they're so popular. Part of the reason on top of so being delicious. So it's just a tag. Oh, okay. So which one is it? Is it is it popular because it's delicious or is it popular Well, I mean, it was, it was a necessary tagline when they were coming around. Mm. And then once people were introduced to it. It still applies. You don't know awesome how long the flavor. future can be. They could say, hey, it's an ice cream in the future. The future could be 200 years from now and Dippin' Dots could be the number. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, but that's like saying like. Trubisky's the quarterback of the future when it's like we've run the experiment. The future, it's, it's over. Like it's just also it's, they've they've tried that and they're dominating. Leave Mitch. I can tell you the future right now. Dipping dots will never be the most popular ice cream. I got ever. them with the second to last pick in an ice cream draft. Little no, I'm saying though it's not the ice cream of the future because ice cream is that. the ice cream of the future. <laughs> I'm saying you don't know that because it's the future. No, I know that, Carl. I fucking know. No way Dippin' Dots replaces regular, good old-fashioned well, American ice cream. Put your pinky on the line. What, what, was, the, uh, what was the number <laughs> of revenue you said? 330 In 2018, they broke $330 million in all right, annual revenue. All right, so Ed and I did a, uh, a podcast that will air on Tuesday. Do you know what the annualized uh, ice cream industry is without that? $10 billion. Close. It's $4.5 billion. People like cream. their ice cream. Yeah. You know what, though? The guy started the company in a garage in Illinois. So he's, you know. Dippin' Dots guy Yeah. Mm -hmm. He went to Southern. Ice cream of the future. Yeah. Is he coming on I Thursday? Just, it's G the, G it's nice. the tagline. That's a good point. Well, we're not talking <clears throat> taglines. We're talking flavors All right. and deliciousness. Big Cat, Mr. Irrelevant, who we got? All right. I'm going uh, something a little kind of like what Carl did where everyone can get it. It's a little bit different. I'm going to go with uh, the uh, Snickers ice cream bar. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Snickers ice cream bar. You can get it anywhere. It's always good. You never turn those down. They're delicious. That's a good one. I think that's the number one candy bar in an ice, like For ice sure. cream candy bar in the convenience store format. Yep. I, I would agree. Yep. You might agree. rip your fillings out. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. It's awfully, often duplicated. Like, I think the Twix, I'm mm -hmm. not a big fan of. I think there's, is there what else? I think. What else I mean, have they come out with in ice cream bar form, like I mean, yeah. candy? 
I think they've I mean? probably tried them all, but there's only one that you know, and it's Snickers. Right. Yeah. It's Snickers. Right. Yeah. So that's that's an easy one. I can't remember if they have nougat in it. Or yeah, did they replace the nougat with the ice cream? I think that's it. That's the like yeah. the hook, right? No nougat ice yeah. cream. Nougat's it's like a nougat though. flavored ice cream, which I have it no problems with. Made with creamy peanut butter ice cream, smooth caramel, and crunchy peanuts, and covered in a chocolate shell. Does that no chocolate shell? Hurt? How when you bite through it, you get oh. from the hard to the soft. Oh. So can you freeze? So I think nougat gets too hard though. If you freeze it, if you've ever had a yeah. frozen Three Musketeers, I mean, those, another, you can still work through those. But I mean, that's another thing where you risk losing your teeth. You freeze those. It's worth it. Yeah. All it's right. So here's here's the rundown: Eddie Chipwich, Screwball Ice Cream Sandwich, Mint Chocolate Chip, Flintstone Push Up, Chief Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Blizzard Drumstick, Rocket Pop, Cookies and Cream, Coffee Ice Cream. Carl, Rocky Road, Choco Taco, Neapolitan Ice Cream, Ice Cream Cake, Frosty, White Sox Dave, Reese's Peanut Butter Chocolate, Chocolate Cake Shake, Ben & Jerry's Half-Baked, Peanut Buster Parfait, Dippin' Dots, Big Cat, Reese's McFlurry, Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough, Chocolate Vanilla Squirrel, Swirl, Ben & Jerry's Fish Food, Snickers Ice Cream Bar. I think it's going to be between Chief and Carl. Oh, I think you got a very good shot. I think yeah. I th I don't think so. I I think <clears throat> fish food might throw people off. I also think Chief, you had you would have had a runaway win if you didn't go coffee, but that's Agree. not pandering. So that's yeah. I, I like the pick. that's like those are my yeah and firecrackers. Yeah. Chief's top four is strong. Yes, very strong. Yeah, the fish food is going to appeal to a very large demographic. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I could. I I don't know. I mean, I it's think the only the ben, ben and Jerry's flavor on the board. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, what did they take? Oh, half baked. Yeah. Half okay. Baked. You gotta you gotta fight then. I think it's between Big Cat and Chief. That's my my my, my final guess. Do you mm. do you think I have a chance against Dave in the runoff? Yes, I do. I think it's even. Carl? I think you guys are fucking crazy. Like crazy people. I think Yeah, I think you have a tough I think you have a tough sled to push here or whatever the fucking saying is. Do you think I have a chance against him? I, against against Dave? Yeah. Well, you don't like anything with sugar, so you, you instantly, you you never had a screwball. I bet Have screwballs you? are fucking awful. I think I would probably prefer Eddie's. You're Ooh. fucking crazy. You're no, because I I I mean <laughs> we shit on the chip witch a lot, but I like chip witches. I love an ice cream sandwich, and I like mint chocolate chip. I I think I would take his top three over your top three. I mean, you're fucking crazy. And, we'll find and out. no, you. Drafted more or less the same thing I did, just but packaged differently. Better versions. Any big That's honorable not true. mentions? That's absolutely not true. P so yeah. uh, pistachio, I think, is a great flavor, but I can I, I can only have like six bites. Yeah, I think it's I agree. like the best first bite of ice cream is a is a good bite. Of I get sick of it quick. Too. I, yeah, same. It's a better like gelato. After, yeah, gelato. It's a better gelato. Okay. Um, honorable mentions. I have a long list. Uh, I could have just done a draft of just peanut butter chocolate. Uh, ice cream. I think uh, peanut butter cup. Ben and Jerry's is delicious. Uh, chocolate peanut butter for hot from Hagen Dazs might be the the gold standard mm -hmm. for chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Talenti. Do you guys ever have Talenti? Talenti Love chocolate Talenti. peanut butter is delicious. Yep. It also comes in a clear container, so it feels like it's healthier, even though it's not. It's worse. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised that we no one went with just a regular ice cream sundae. I don't know what we would have like. I don't know. I can always go with a little, you know, the chocolate fudge and, and vanilla ice cream yeah, and the cherry on top. Yeah. Like Dave, the, the parfait that he drafted is similar to that, the way he was describing yeah. it. So it is. It's basically just a Sunday. Um, I am kind of pissed. I just thought of this now. Like <laughs> you go to Old Country Buffet or any of those buffet fine established Ponderosa, maybe if that tickles your fancy, the build your own Sunday bar. Could we have drafted yeah. that? Where you just load it with sprinkles and the little pieces of chocolate and not the chocolate chips, a little whatever they are. The wrestling bars were good. His kids, mm -hmm. um, Super Mario. I was a big fan of him. SpongeBob, all good bars out of the out Ninja of the truck. Turtles. Two, for the people, yeah. for my truck people, they'll know what's up. Bubble play was great. Had the baseball mitt with the two. You, uh, you wait, wait, wait. You can't say like for my truck people because I like ice cream trucks too. I took ice cream truck thing too. Would you? Which one? So oh, the I ice, the Snickers ice cream, sure. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm yeah. not saying yeah, but but you're not uh, you're not totally a truck guy. I'm an everything guy. 
Yeah, that's true. You did. You did. This. You did. Mm-hmm. You did There's four that. trucks outside of my house every single every single day. I I eat from an ice cream <laughs> truck probably 25 times a year. Still, as an adult, I, big, big creamsicle guy too. You like those? Uh, mm, I don't like no. creamsicles. I've got two honorable mentions that are like big time nostalgia plays, and I didn't draft one of them because I couldn't remember what it's called. But when you were in school, like elementary school, and you had those little, like little tiny cup containers that were half chocolate and half vanilla. Oh, yeah. Did those, you guys have those? Those were sick. Oh, those, what were they called? I can't remember. You know, like you peel off the top. You remember? You know what I'm, t- you guys know what I'm talking about or nope. no? No. And Wait, then, yes. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, those were awesome. Yeah. Like those are like field. I remember those being like field trips or like hot lunches. Those would just be like included yes. at the end of the day. Like it was just like Why a throwaway think- thing. And then uh, another peel top one, the Italian ice. If you, did you guys have those as kids? No, oh, like, yeah. Like okay. lemon uh-huh. chill? Yeah. Like yeah, it, yeah but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a hard, it's hard. You get, that's another one you have to let melt a little bit when you scoop all the way down. And for what, whatever reason at the bottom, it was like this crystallized lemon sugar thing. That lemon was just, chill was on my board. Yeah. Uh, the chocolate eclair and like the strawberry shortcakes and like the roasted almonds, you know which one those are? Those are really good. They're, yeah. That are like, yeah, those are, those are great. Uh, the ones you're talking about, I can't think of the name, but like, and you eat it with the, um, Remember they'd come with the little uh, wooden, wooden spoon? spoon? Yeah, yeah. 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 Can I give you I the worst one out of a truck? Was a snow cone. It's sugar water on ice chips. But it was just like it, it was always like over frozen and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it was just always yep. it was always it was always tough. What about Sherbert? Shout out Rainbow. Sherbert cone, mm-hmm. too. Great White Shark. Mm-hmm. What yeah, about what about like a slushy? A seven eleven seven eleven slushy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What is the difference mention. between custard and ice cream? I think it's like the amount of butter in it, like the amount of fat in it. Not sure. Dave, big fudgicle guy? Yeah, I love fudgicles. I like, I like fudgicles too. Fudgicle? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Freeze pops. Those are on the board. Those are on my What board. about those the uh, flavor ice? Um, what the fuck were they called? The, like the, the little tube things that you, you buy them unfrozen, they're just liquid. That's what they just from said. Like, oh, is that what? Yeah. What are they called? Freeze pops. Free, I called them uh, freezicles. I think. Nope. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I Unless that's a brand um, I've never heard of. But. My mom right. would get them from Aldi, and I'd be embarrassed because she shopped at Aldi <laughs> instead of they shopping. came in the they came in like a red net bag. No, ours came in a legit box, like a cardboard box mm-hmm. for the for like like it was meat that you got online or something. I seen somebody doing a TikTok where they were they cut the freeze pops open, they pour a little bit out, then they pour a shot in, and then they use a hair curling iron to Ooh. slowly. So in, and then they those go. that's an actual product now that comes with the alcohol in it. I think they might sponsor, sponsor the Portnoy show, Portnoy show, and they're yeah. made in like West yeah. Chicago. Yeah, you yeah. should definitely get the ones on the day Portnoy show. Then don't make them yourself. It's yeah. dangerous. Yep. Um, all right, Big Cat. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thank hey. you guys. I now I want some ice cream. Yeah. We might have to hit up a uh, dessert cart soon at the Cubs game. Yeah, I got. A, I was talking to one. Of, to, I was trying to get a dessert cart actually wheeled to the office. I don't think that's possible. That'd be unbelievable. That would have been I sweet. Ge- I guess we'll just have to sit in a suite at the game. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to do it on a live stream. It would have been very funny. Yeah. <laughs> would we have been allowed to draft ice cream out of a batting helmet? I think that that's oh. White Sox Dave. That's like a Dave like AC. I think that's like a Dave AC thing, right? Yeah. Like you're just changing yeah. the container, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. Yeah. But yeah, okay. All right, big. Cat. I feel Thank good you. about that draft. Freestyle was chaos. Yeah. Yeah, I think you and Chief have a good shot. I think Carl's right there too. Um, all right, that's it, everybody. Ice cream week underway. Well, there'll be all ice cream topics for the rest of the week. Uh, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll see you then.